incredibly proud of the team tonight. Total team effort. Went through a lot of adversity since the A&M game. Um, the girls rallied. Uh, everybody stepped up when we needed them to step up. And you know, credit to LSU. They're, they're an incredible team. Uh, very physical, very athletic, and so we had to be at our very best, and you know, maybe get a few bounces here and there in order to get the result we, that we wanted. Um, but an unbelievable win for the program, you know, to, to go first three games against three quality opponents and, uh, and to have nine points after that in the SEC. Uh, couldn't be prouder. Couldn't be proud of the staff. Couldn't be prouder of the players. Couldn't be more proud of the support staff and everything. It's, it's a total team win tonight. After the adversity of giving up that goal to LSU tie. <laughs> Girls came right back, and you know, after a, a scoring the second half for a while, finally found a way to get that one. On. Yeah, so obvi obviously, good. it was uh, disappointing to concede straight after you have such a great start to the game like that. And you know, it's going to go one of two ways. The girls are going to shrink a little bit, and oh, is that a, a moment that's passed us by? But they went straight back down um, and scored a, a great goal. Um, you know, almost a carbon copy of the first one. Um, and then I thought we did really well. You know, I think we ran out of legs a little bit towards the, the end of the first half, and LSU scored a good goal, but we felt like we could always nick one at the end there, and thankfully we did. Give me one quote on the attendance record. Uh, the, the, home, the home crowd's been unbelievable all season. I mean, not only are we getting more and more people out, but there's just a genu genuine excitement about the program, and it's such a loud soccer crowd that we, we couldn't thank them enough. I mean, they were, again, the difference tonight. They cheered us on the whole way, and. They all stayed till the end, and I don't know what the attendance was, but 1483, 1483 on a Sunday night in Startville, incredible. I mean, it gives me goosebumps just to think about it. What was the biggest thing for you guys in the second half? You know, after you know it was two-two heading into the half, yeah. no one had scored for 40 plus minutes, and you, what what gave for you guys, and what was the biggest thing in that second half that allowed you guys to just continue to be successful and put pressure on them? I mean, we didn't have as many players available as they did, right? So I think, and that's not an excuse, it's just we had to make sure we concentrate a little bit more because when you start to fatigue, concentration is the first thing that yeah. goes. So we just told the girls to, to really concentrate on doing the basics, back each other up and, and have belief, you know, have belief that we can. We weren't just looking to, to end the game 2-2. We wanted to say, like, let's go out there and try and get the winning goal. And, you know, credit to the girls. They kept fighting and supporting one another and stuck to the details. And, you know, thankfully we got that last goal at the end. Back in the first half, you know, early on, three goals scored in what, like five, six minutes. <laughs> um, how big was that to see this team settle down and, and, you know, get more comfortable in the game for the rest of it? I mean, you always challenge your team to start fast, right? And we started the fastest we started all season, and that was great. Um, but we kind of slipped up a little bit to go into the locker room 2 2 at half time, and we said we needed to be a little bit more composed on the ball. Um, a little bit smarter with our game management decisions, when to go long, when to try and play a little bit. So um, I think the girls just did a better job of that in the second half. And once again, every single player that stepped on the field had a massive impact on the game, you know, and that's what you need. Tonight we were, we were short a little bit, um, obviously played a really tough opponent on Thursday night. LSU were an unbelievable opponent, so we needed everybody, you know, everybody's legs tonight and we got that. Now we're going to rest until Friday. Where do you guys go from here? We go to Mizzou next on Friday. Um, Mizzou, very good team. Every every team in the SEC right now is a very good team. You know, every team that we're going to play um, from an RPI standpoint, from a conference standpoint. So we're just going to enjoy tonight. We're going to have a, a well-earned day off tomorrow for the players, and then we'll get back to it on Tuesday. All right. So big win for you guys today. Now 9-0 and 2 on the season, 3-0 and in SEC play. Um, how big was the defensive side of things for you? Oh, gosh, they were really big. We were struggling a little bit in the first half, just staying connected. and saying touch tight in the box but in the second half we definitely cleaned it up and we knew what to do we just had to be locked down on defense and our offense did an amazing job scoring goals for us and letting it be a three goal three to two game how big was the you know what was the biggest switch between the first half and the second half defensively i think we were just a little more focused in the second half we were a little tired in the first half i think and it was just overwhelming with lsu pressing us and they outworked us a bit but in the second half i feel like we wanted it more and we knew what to do and uh, we changed things a little bit tactically, so I think that's what helped us. I know it's a little difficult for, for match to match to really compare how teams are, but compare LSU maybe to A&M and Arkansas. Um, I feel like they're a little more technical and put the ball down a little bit, but I, I mean, they're an SEC team. They're physical. Every game's going to be physical, but they're a tough opponent, and it was a good match.
where you where do you guys go from here? You know, have stayed stayed unbeaten so far on the season, undefeated in uh, in SEC play. Where do you guys go from here? I think we just continue going, keep it rolling. I mean, we only f focus on the next game, and so uh, just taking it one game at a time and just fixing things and cleaning things up during practices for the next game. Well, I know you got fouled to, to set up that penalty kick, but what did you kind of see through the whole sequence? <laughs> uh, I really was just Nick went over there and said, get something out of this throw-in. So, you know, I just tried to post up and try to draw a foul or get something, but it really was just like the team backing me up, and that's about it. What was the uh, what was the plan with the pen? Was the plan to always go bottom bottom right, or was it just? Uh, well, I can't give away what my secret, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> How, how good was it to score? Um, you know, it, it seemed like in the, in the second half, you know, having scored two in the first half, you guys were, it, something was going to give, a goal was yeah. going to be scored. How big was that goal at the end of the game? I mean, I think it was really big for us. This was a really important game because we just need to keep showing that we can uh, hang in the SEC and that we're one of the top teams. So this is a really big win. So this, the team put out a great effort and we got the result. As the wins come, the matches keep getting bigger. So just talk about what's to come. <laughs> Uh, well, we just got to keep working and put in the work. We just got to keep doing what we're doing because it's working. So, I mean, just, I mean, we're very uh, hard work team. So that's what we need to keep doing. Yeah.